What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and I'm going to be sharing with you some Metagross highlights from my Global Challenge run. Now, this team was built around Metagross, even though Volcarona and Dragonite really stole the spotlight. But the idea is to put Chen Pao's Sword of Ruin next to Metagross and do some insane damage. Bullet Punch with Ch Sword of Ruin boost should pick up most Flutter mains unless they're super bulky or you get a low roll. And Heavy Slam, Psychic Fang, Stomping Tantrum just do crazy damage. Now, this is basically a Chen Pao Dragonite team with Metagross, and I've also got Volcarona as a little sneaky answer to some of the common meta things going on. It's got Struggle Bug to help against Trick Room, Psy Spam, Blood Moon, all those sorts of deals, and also Quiver Dance so it can actually sweep. Ogre Pond is here just for support, but it's actually a fast Ogre Pond, faster than Landorus Incarnate, so I can remove that as it's a threat to Metagross. And Raging Bolt is just the last slot. It can be replaced most easily, I think, preferably for a better answer for Blood Moon or Saluna and Farigraf combo, especially because this is a heavy priority spamming team. But anyway, let's get into some of these battles. All right, let's see what we can do against this. They've got a Dragonite of their own, but they've also got Farigraf and Amoongus, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Urshifu. I don't want to go Dragonite Chen Pao. They're just going to go with the Farigaraf mode. Probably Farigaraf and Incineroar, maybe? I think Metagross is pretty good. I think Volcarona is pretty good. Especially with the Dragon Terra type against their Firewater Grass Core. Uh, I think I might just go Volcarona. Metagross isn't bad. Uh, I don't like that they have Amoongus. I might need to bring Ogre Pond for that. Which is good because that also helps against Insin and Urshifu. Metagross seems pretty good here. Raging Bolt seems pretty good here. Especially if we get rid of Farigarap. Raging Bolt is pretty crazy here. And then finally, is it a Metagross game? Hmm. Only having the one sleep immunity and then coming up against Amoongus. I don't hate Metagross, really. Chen Pao is fine too, though. I'm gonna go with Metagross. If I bring the Chen Pao, the only thing it's really supporting is Ogre Pond, and it's hurting the others. And they do have a lot of physical on their team. Alright, let's see what they got. Victor. Will you be the victor? I hope not. It is Farigarath and Water Urshifu. That's great. That is genuinely great. Okay, now are they Scarf on their Urshifu? I think they could be. I do think they could be. In which case, they'll just U-turn out the Ogre Pond, which would be kind of annoying. I would like to hit them with Ogre Pond. Just throw a wood hammer. That would be cool. But it's possible. Ah. Alright, Raging Bolt. And I'm going to commit to the wood hammer on Urshifu. Alright, let's see what they do. All right, we go into Bolt, and, oh, we get our booster energy. Hang on. We're much stronger now. And we get the Wood Hammer first, yes! And there's Sash, that's okay. I guess that's okay. Uh, it's not as okay as it could have been. Oh, but it's Surging Strikes into Bolt. I like that. Okay. Going right after Volcarona. If I had just gone Terra Dragon and Struggle Bug, we would have been all set. All right, what do you got, Farigaraf? Hyper Voice? Trick Room? Trick Room? Okay. My Bolt is gonna be the slowest thing on the field now. I guess you were expecting a Quiver Dance? I don't know. Uh, plenty of swap ins to Thunderbolt, but not really many swap ins to Draco Meteor. But I don't want a Draco Meteor. I just want a Thunderbolt. 
And then for Farigarath, I could swap in Metagross here. Save Ogre Pond for later, maybe. I could protect. I do think it's Thunderbolt here. And a Metagross swap in. Okay, they just swap her, Shifu. I should have Dracoed. Yeah, it's a Moongus. It is a Moongus. Where was the Draco, Jordy? Okay. Well, we have a Protect on the field, and we can go straight back into Ogre Pond if we want. They just throw off a Dazzling Gleam. Okay. That does a decent chunk, surprisingly. And their leftovers, Amoongus? Oh. Okay. Alright, uh... It would be super easy to bring in Ogre Pond for Metagross and protect Raging Bolt. And since we're stalling out Trick Room, that's probably what I should do. Yeah, I'll just do that. I don't think they would go for a Hyper Voice with Ferrigraph or a Psychic into Metagross or anything silly like that. So we should be alright. Bring in the Ogre Pond, so you can't Spore nothing. And what do you got? Spore into... Okay, they targeted Metagross with that. And just a Dazzling Gleam. Okay. I don't like that I'm taking damage on Ogre Pond over time, but it's fine. Now, do I want to try to get rid of Farigarath so I can start using my priority? I mean, Metagross is fine. If I have Metagross left and all they have left is Farigarath in the end, that'd be great. So I think I just Draco Amoongus and try to and just redirect their score so they can't. Um, if they just Pollen Puff, uh, I could Terra Ogre Pond. But I don't want to. Yeah, I wouldn't be immune to Spore. Let's see what we can do to this thing. Alright. It was a Pollen Puff, though. Uh, that does more than I'm a calm comfortable with. And Dazzling Gleam picks up the Ogre Pond. Alright, we gotta get rid of Amoongus now. Let's hope this Draco Meteor can do it. Alright, we connect. We don't get it! Oh no! Oh man, that little leftover saved them. Oh man. Okay. I see. They're gonna want to sleep Metagross, but Metagross can take hits. Volcarona is the same. Can definitely take some hits. I think it's Volcarona, and then swap in Metagross in the other slot while we protect Volcarona to stall out more Trick Room. Yeah, it is the last Trick Room turn. I could also double protect, but I think they would want to spore the Volcarona. They spore Metagross, good job, but they don't have much momentum right now. It's, it's Amoongus and Farigarath, they're not really doing anything. I'm not really scared of them. We'll just see what happens. Play it slow. Despite the offensive nature of my team. Alright. Metagross is in. Did you read this? Oh, he's so pretty too. Alright, alright, alright. And it is a spore into Volcarona. Yes! Okay. That's great. And just a Dazzling Gleam. Metagross can eat that all day long. Now, I don't think we can actually knock out Farigarath. Uh, would Struggle Bug take that Amoongus? I think it would. So we can just go for a Heavy Slam into Farigarath and a Struggle Bug. I don't want to Quiver Dance. 
because I might still be slower than Urshifu if they set up Trick Room. Um, I think Struggle Bug will do it. I think Struggle Bug will take Amoongus. And they protect it anyway. That's great. That's fine. They're going to get up Trick Room, and they're going to Spore stuff, but they're not going to get any momentum out of it. And good damage on Farigarap, actually. Ooh, a crit! That almost took it! Uh, the Rocky Helmet on Farigarap, okay. And they set up a Trick Room. Alright. What do they want to do? They want to spore something. I don't want to swap. I don't want to give them... I want to burn my sleep turn this turn. And I think it would be better to take out Amoongus. Yeah, leave Farigarath alone. Psychic Fangs on Amoongus. And I guess Struggle Bug, because if we take them both out, that's also fine. Would Heat Wave be better? Struggle Bug is guaranteed to take out for Rigrap. I don't know about Amoongus. I'll Heat Wave. I'll Heat Wave. Oh, and they just swap Amoongus. Okay. Uh, you're not good. Okay. Both of these are going down. That's fine. Just gonna get a little bit of chip on me. Okay. No drops, I assume. Yep, good. Psychic Fangs. And I'm actually okay with missing this heat wave. Volcarona, if you want to miss any heat waves, now's the time. No? Okay. You'll, you'll miss it when it's clutch. I get it. I get it. Okay. <laughs> Amoongus down, Farigaraf down. No. Urshifu down, Farigaraf down. Amoongus at about half health. Under Trick Room, though. And who's their last? Dragonite. Okay. Uh, depending on your speed, my Metagross might be slower than you. And my Raging Bolt definitely would be. Uh, you've preserved Terra this whole time, though, so you have Terra Normal Extreme Speeds if you want them. Uh, I kinda hope you are choice, because then Metagross can handle you. But, uh, Metagross is 102 speed, Dragonite naturally is 100 speed, so if they put any speed in their Dragonite, I'm going first. Uh, I'm gonna Psychic Fangs the Amoongus. Hmm. Heat Wave? Heat Wave. I think Heat Wave. I don't think it's Protect. Let's see. It could be... Okay, it's just a Spore into Metagross, and then I assume some sort of attack into Volcarona. What do you have that can knock out a Volcarona? Stomping Tantrum isn't gonna do it. You might get burned for your trouble, too. Yes! Ooh, yes! Oh, that's so good. That is so good. But you are slower than Metagross, so you have no speed on that thing. And then Amoongus is gone. All you have left is this burn Dragonite. And I crit the Dragonite. That was a crit on Dragonite? Okay, maybe you're multi-scale, not inner focus. But yeah, that is basically GG. What's Heavy Slam power on Dragonite? I think it's low. Metagross, Heavy Slam, 60 base power. Okay. Then I'll just keep throwing Psychic Fangs. And I will just... I mean... Do I even bother protecting? I guess I Terrastalize Metagross. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they just cancel. All right, GG. Okay, we are fighting the Dash Bun combo with Chiyu. Dash Bun, Chiyu, Fluttermane, Ogre Pond Water, Corviknight, and Inertiafu. What do we do about that? I don't have any specific plans for Dash Bun, but my Chiyu Flutter lead is Metagross Volcarona, which could be pretty good. Except I can't use fire moves at the dash bun. Dash bun's a problem. Fortunately, Raging Bolt is also pretty good here. So I'm gonna bring that anyway. Hit on the special side on that dash bun. 
And then finally, Chen Pao could go Terra Ghost, but I'm gonna commit that to Metagross pretty much right away. Ogre Pine can crit through stuff. Is pretty good. Might be Dark Urshifu, which is scary. Chen Pao ain't bad, honestly. Sacred Sword would go through the defense boosts, and they're probably gonna be tempted to Terra. If they're like Terra Steel, we could be in business. I think I will bring Chen Pao then. Chen Pao doesn't seem great here, but in the niche case of that, and also against Dark Urshifu, it's fine. It's faster. It doesn't die to dark moves in one hit. Mostly because it's sashed, not because it can actually take a dark move. Yep, it is Chiyu Dash Bun lead. Okie dokie. Um, Lava Plume could burn Metagross, which is... <sighs> not a fan of that. But we Terra Water. Heavy Slam. Because that is our plan against these guys. And we... We probably Struggle Bug. I don't think we'll be faster than a Scarf Chiyu after one trip. But I want to weaken up that Chiyu. Now, Volcarona isn't the best lead into this combo. It's the best lead into Chiyu Fluttermane. So I was just covering for that option as well. Maybe Ogre Pond Water would have been better to be here with this. Yep, they're just going for it. They didn't use Terra on the Dash Bun. And they didn't get a burn. So we should be doing really good damage with this Heavy Slam now. I like to see that. Body Press into Metagross does a ton with a crit. Wow. And Heavy Slam does a ton as well. Excellent. Excellent. That is so good. Does Well Big Body make you immune to burns? I don't know if you could touch Volcarona. But. Yeah, now I think it's Bullet Punch Quiver Dance. Start setting up for the sweep. They may just protect it. They might want to swap out Chi Yu at this point. It's not really doing anything at minus one. You could fish for a burn. Oh, that's a pun because it's a fish. I'm clever sometimes. But yeah, okay, this worked. <laughs> I stopped them at least for a second. What was that? What were we looking at there? They let me bullet punch. The dog is down. Yes. Bye, dog. Goodbye. Now anything your GU did, that's fine. Still no burn on Metagross, so we still have bullet punching powers. Volcarona is starting to boost. Alright. She was only at minus one. It might still be faster because it's probably Scarf. And they bring in Flutermane. Are you Speed Booster? Protosynthesis activates and raises speed. Okay. I'm gonna Bullet Punch you and Protect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bullet punch you, and I'm going to protect. Bullet punch won't knock you out, don't worry. Unless you have, like, no bolt. But you... I mean, your chi Yu is at minus one. Do you stay in and lava plume it? They might protect and swap chi Yu. Well, they didn't swap chi Yu. But they did protect. I also protect Volcarona, so I get a little bit of healing for this turn, and get to bring in something better. Is Raging Bolt better? I don't know. They just Lava Plume. Does this even take out Metagross from here? I hadn't been counting the hits. I hadn't been counting the HP. I don't really mind if it goes down. It doesn't. Still no burn, too. 
Love that for you, Metagross. Love that. That is so cool. So yeah, they are a little bit stuck because of that. Excellent. We're gonna bullet punch, and we are gonna... Heat wave, probably. Nothing wants to swap into a heat wave. Fluttermane goes for the double protect, doesn't get it, and therefore wastes its time. You can live a bullet punch, you know. They lava plume their own Fluttermane. Whoa! No! 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 You're kidding me. You are kidding, right? Critting the Volcarona through the special defense boost and their special attack drop. Knocking out their own Fluttermane, but that's really bad. Uh, we have Raging Bolt and we have Chen Pao. We could Thunderclap, we can Sucker Punch, we have some options, and they have Urshifu. Oh, this is Mr. Kurtastic I'm playing? Hello, Mr. Kratastic. Good team. Man, that crit is brutal. All right. Now, we probably just double protect because they have to protect their Urshifu. They really have to protect their Urshifu. We just want to go for the Thunderclap and the Sucker Punch, right? Have you really preserved Terra this whole time? Wow. But yeah, we still we Thunderclap and we Sucker Punch. That'll cover any Terras and should knock you out. They are pulling out the Terra now. On that. Terra Dark, you're... Hmm. I guess they know they're not going to have to Lava Plume their own guy. Because they're going to die. Good damage there. I think Thunderclap takes it from there. Yeah, good. Goodbye, fish. And you just Wicked Blow with the defense drop. That's scary. Okay. Bolt is down. And now we're here. I don't think this is that bad. I'd like to know their item, of course. But as long as Sacred Sword into Sucker Punch can take them out, we should be golden. Sacred Sword. Yeah, that'll do it. And they close combat even. Excellent. Okay. Now, I guess we're technically in a Sucker Punch War now. I don't like Sucker Punch Wars. I have seven Sucker Punches. They can't use any Sucker Punches until I'm done using Sucker Punches. And we just take them out the first turn. Okay. Good game, Mr. Kurtastic. Ooh, you made me fight with that dash bun. Alright, this looks like a kind of normal team. They've got Farigaraph and Blood Moon. They've got Fluttermane. They've got Fire Ogre Pond, Incineroar. And they've got Urshifu. This is a common six that's been going around. Um, they're obviously gonna go for Rigoraph. Dragonite Chen Pao just makes them do that. So my trick room answer is Volcarona. Struggle bugging, making sure Blood Moon never gets in for free. After that, who do I think they would lead with for Rigoraph? It could be Incineroar, which would make Ogre Pond, eh, Raging Bolt, 
Raging Bolt isn't bad against anything they have except the Fluttermane. Metagross is pretty cool too. Volcarona is really good against Fluttermane though. It could be Bolt. But it could also be Metagross. If I bring Bolt, I might be able to knock out Farigarath if they don't bring in Cinderor for Fake Out. Or Ogre Pound for Follow Me if it has that. So yeah, I think I'll do Volcarona Bolt. Uh, do I want Chen Pao or Dragonite at all? Dragonite could be pretty good against the Ogre Pond and the Urshifu. I could just lock into like Aerial Ace. And then I would want another answer to Fluttermane, so I'm gonna bring Metagross. I don't think I'll have be able to Terra the Ogre Pond. It might not be worth it. Yeah, this should work. Dragonite without the Chen Pao. Struggle Bug in their Trick Room. And hopefully it works out. They could just go with a different mode and throw me all off, but... Haha, <laughs> Ghosties. But yeah, they could... I don't know. It's Farigarath for sure. Oh, it's Urshifu Fluttermane! It's Water Shifu and Fluttermane. Okay. Do you... bring in Farigarath on a Thunderclap? And try to get a move off with your Urshifu? Oh, I don't know what to do here. If I tear the Volcarona, I can handle the Urshifu. But then I'm weak to Fluttermane. If I tear the Raging Bolt, well, that doesn't help anybody. Oh, man. I could Thunderclap Terra. No, that makes me extremely weak to Fluttermane. Oh, wow. This is a prediction war here. Um, they know the Thunderclap is happening. They're either going to swap in for Rigorath. Oh no. Ah, I don't know, is this the play? Oh, I get the thunderclap! Urshifu's gone! Oh, they didn't put in for Rigorath. Oh, I made the right call. Okay. Okay, and they do Moonblast. Do we trade? Yeah. We trade. But I think that's a good trade. Oh, okay. That is pretty cool and we reduce your Fluttermane special attack. Okay. I do not mind that trade very much at all. Let's bring in Metagross. And they bring in Ursa Luna. Fine by me. I will struggle bug you too. Struggle the bugs. Uh, now that Urshifu is gone, Volcarona doesn't need or want to Terra. Maybe they didn't bring for Rigorath. But yeah, I think more struggle bugs and maybe a Terrastal. And I'll just attack the Ursa Luna. I think it's more threatening than Fluttermane with what I have left. And they swap. Uh, I guess this could be for Rigorath coming in. No, it's Incineroar. Oh, that's fine by me. Um, do you protect the bear here and then try to get a uh, fake out turn where you can attack? Maybe that's what they're doing. I'm just terrestrializing Metacross. I don't want to take an Earth Power or a Shadow Ball that last turn. This makes me a little more vulnerable to the normal moves, but I'm going to be lowering their special attack before they get to do that. Yes, I am. Good. Good, good, good. Drop that special attack not like seeing you have that special attack. And do some pretty good damage, too. Earth Power into Volcarona, that shouldn't do too much. Excellent. And we heal off. Alright, they have a fake out turn. Uh, but we have Protect on Volcarona. Volcarona's really our win con. They could fake out and Blood Moon Metagross is the worst thing they could do. And I don't think that's that bad. They're at minus one anyway. So I think I will chip down Ursaluna again. And they shouldn't be in struggle bug range after this other psychic fact. But the combo did less than half the first time. Oh, they fake out into Volcarona. That's better. So we do get a more chip on that thing. Cool, cool. Very low. And another Earth Power into Volcarona. That's interesting. 
They're saving their blood moons. But it's too late now. Should have blood mooned while you had the chance. Okay. Bullet punch into Ursaluna could take it, but we can't really do all that much to Incin. Uh, they have Fluttermane in the back. I think it might be more beneficial to Struggle Bug allow Ursaluna to survive and Stomping Tantrum into Incineroar. That's what I'm going with. And I mean, if we get a high roll on Struggle Bug, we might be able to knock it out. Damage is not consistent in this game. Let's see. Oh, we take it. Cool. Cool, cool. Bye, Ursaluna. And Stomping Tantrum. Let's see how much this does. I don't think it knocks out from here. No, pretty close though. And just a player blitz. Which doesn't take us out. Beautiful. Are you gone? Yeah, you're gone. Alright, well that is definitely GG. Our Metagross can handle you, our Volcarona can handle you. You are handled. Uh, I think just Heavy Slam is all it is. I know their item was Booster, they don't have it now. They're not strong enough, so I'm gonna Quiver Dance in case they want to go for, like, Protect or something. And just Heavy Slam them. This is probably a Cancel, though. Click the Cancel button. Nope, they're going for it. Okay. Metagross doesn't even take half. And we dance in your face. Good game, Fluttermane. Good try. Good try. That trade turn one, that turn one read, them not bringing Perigraph mainly, was huge. Getting rid of that Urshifu was really huge. I don't know why they didn't bring Perigraph. Maybe they heard me saying they would and wanted to trick me. But I'm glad they didn't. Alright, we're fighting a Torkoal, Chiyu, Whimsicott, Urshifu, Primarina, Fluttermane team. A few things there that like Sun. I guess that would be a Dark Urshifu? They already have a Dark type and a Water type, but since they have Torkoal, I don't think they would want two Water types. That's not how Sun Teams work. Now how do we get around that? Chen Pao Dragonite is okay. They have Fluttermane and Chiyu, which always causes a problem for that pairing. Volcarona's pretty good into that lead. Might have to be Volcarona Metagross. That is my Chiyu Fluttermane answer. Because Terra Water Metagross, first of all, it scares out the Fluttermane. Second of all, Vocal Rona does great into them. Uh, their only physical attacker is Urshifu. And Dark Urshifu is terrifying for this lead. That, too terrifying. Oh no. That's what's going to get me, is Dark Urshifu. Uh, but we could do Chen Pao Dragonite in the back to handle that mostly. They have a lot of fairy types. But I have my two fairy resists with me. Ogre Pond wouldn't do that great here anyway. Yeah, I guess that's what we do. We gotta bring fairy weaknesses, because we have three. We can't leave them all on the bench. Okay. At least Chen Pao isn't really weak to fairy, since it's sashed and is super frail anyway. It's weak to basically everything. Except like, Psy Spam. Or if I tear a fake out and sure cold for some reason. Okay, it is Whimsicott Fluttermane. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, unless they have Encore. Oh, and it's Speed Booster on Flutter. Um, I don't want to see Encore. Oh, I need, I want to Quiver Dance so bad, but I cannot handle Encore. So I'm just gonna have to get rid of that. I'll struggle bug. And I will heavy slam into the Whimsicott. Fluttermane won't be a threat at minus one. Oh, they're going for a fake tears combo. Oh, if you have like power gem, I'm done. And they taunt the Metagross. Metagross is assault vest. So we're good. 
but our Volcarona has minus two special defense, which is... It has to leave. It has to go. And Whimsicott is gone. Excellent job, Metagross. It's the first time you did anything of value this whole tournament. All right. And now it's Chiyu. Not exactly the position I want to be in. Uh, I guess they wouldn't throw a fairy move, so I can go into Dragonite. And I can... Oh, I could go into Chen Pao, Terra Water, Bullet Punch, the Fluttermane. No, the Fluttermane's not a threat. The Chiyu is the threat. Yeah, the Fluttermane's at minus one. I don't care about that. I'm just gonna get Volcarona out so it can sweep later. Bring in Dragonite. So it's not that risky. I doubt a fairy move is coming out. And they have Taunt on Fluttermane, actually, so I can't set up on it. At least not if they know to stop me. I feel like that Taunt should have been at Volcarona. I, don't, I didn't really get that play. Taunting a Metagross? Metagross doesn't usually carry status moves. Oh, it is a Dazzling Gleam! Ow! Okay, Dragonite took that pretty well. And a crit on Metagross. And then it's a Heat Wave. We both live. They're Life Orb, so they're gone. Yes! Excellent! Metagross, you're actually putting in work this time! Good job! Good job, baby! Now Fluttermane's locked in, too. And last is Prime Marina. Prime Marina a little scary, I guess. I could... Chen Pao's pretty useless. I could sack Chen Pao. And then use the Sword of Ruin boost to make sure Fluttermane goes down to Bullet Punch. That's what I think I'm gonna do here. Is Metagross gonna get three KOs here? That'd be great. And then we'll focus all our energy on that Prim. Prim Marina. Alright, Sword of Ruin is active. And there's a Terra going on. I kinda hope it's Prim Marina. Oh no, it's Fluttermane. Oh, into Ghost! Oh! Oh, man! Now you're gonna take the bullet punch. Alright, good try, Metagross. I hope that doesn't cost us the game. Metagross hangs on. Moonblast into Metagross. Okay. Well, that's... Hmm. <laughs> I don't love that. So they have Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Taunt. They probably have Protect. I want to struggle bug down that Primarina. But I also need to get rid of Fluttermane at some point. But I'll just do this for now. Just because I'm worried about a Flutter Protect on the Sucker Punch. So that they can take out Chen Pao. This game's not over. Primarina. Yeah, okay, they do protect the Fluttermane. I got that right. Now, how much does Hyper Voice do to my Volcarona after a struggle bug? I hope it's not mine. I also have to keep in mind I'm doing no damage to their Pre Marina at all. Oh, they don't even Hyper Voice. That's great. That's really great. Okay, your options on Fluttermane are to Dazzling Gleam or to Taunt. If you taunt, I might lose Chen Pao for no... Oh, if you taunt, I need to Ice Spinner. If you Dazzling Gleam, I need to Sucker Punch.
Hmm. I need it gone one way or another. I'm gonna Sucker Punch and I'm gonna Struggle Bug again. Ah, oh, the Sucker Punch fails. Oh, that's not good. They Taunt Volcarona. That might be okay. They're gonna have to go for the Moon Blast at this point to take out Pen Pal, I don't know. They're getting pretty weak. Yeah, they do Moon Blast. Okay. And now we've got Dragonite. Who all he can do is get an extreme speed onto that Primarina, which should do decent damage. And then I'm gonna Heat Wave, take out Fluttermane. Presumably. Primarina is now at minus two. But if they Dazzling Gleam, then they'll have single target moves. Well, that does great damage. Good job, Dragonite. Dazzling Gleam probably takes you out, yeah. That's okay. I hope. Now, it's not super important that we connect on the Flutter Main. Alright, we do connect on the Flutter Main. And we should have one more turn of Taunt, so we hopefully can take two Hyper Voices. Oh, it's close. 176 down to 80. So we had a little bit of chip. So that did 96 damage and we have 91 HP. And one more turn of taunt. So we have to struggle bug, weaken them up a little bit more, take the next hit. And then we can go for a heat wave. Oh no. This is not looking good. Oh no. Uh, there's not really any point in going for a protect. I could protect and then quiver dance, but we took 70 damage, and so at plus one we would take, what, 50 damage? We're not gonna get up to there with leftovers. All right, heat wave. Oh, they have aqua jet, and that takes us out. Aw, oh, man. Good game. Okay, we've got a match against Urshifu, Roaring Moon, Incineroar, Fluttermane, Rillaboom, Landorus Incarnate. How does Volcarona do here? Not good. Very not good. Volcarona is not the play. Chen Pao Dragonite is kind of the play. We have Ghost Chen Pao for their double fake outs. Um, is Chen Pao Metagross ever the play? Uh, we'd have to Terra for the Landorus. But Chen Pao handles Landorus. That might be good. This might be the best case for Chen Pao Metagross, honestly. I still want Dragonite. We're going that mode. We're going to bring Dragonite. And then is it Ogre Pond, which is pretty good. Raging Bolt is also pretty good, but not against Landorus. It's Ogre Pond or Volcarona, I guess. Volcarona isn't the worst, but I think Ogre Pond is good just because they could have Surging Strikes there in the first slot. So we're going to go with this. Metagross Chen Pao. That's what this team was originally built around, but it doesn't always often, it doesn't very often be the right combo to go with, but we'll try it. It's really strong when it works. Incineroar and Fluttermane. All right. I get it. You fake something out, and you throw a move. You get the attack drop on Chen Pao. Nothing wants to switch into a fairy move or a shadow ball anyway. I kind of wish I did have Volcarona. 
but I'm just gonna bullet punch you, and I'm just gonna protect. You probably fake out Metagross. Can't risk Chen Pao's Sash. There's, there's not much value in Ice Spinnering. I could Terra Ghost Ice Spinner, but no. I think Fake Out Dazzling Gleam is a pretty reasonable play from you as well. But if it's just Shadow Ball, fine. Yeah, it is Dazzling Gleam. Okay, that's great. Love it. And then, who do you switch into on the bullet punch? Urshifu? I'm sure your Incineroar wants to get a hit off on this Metagross now. I guess I could Terastalize. It's not the worst play. Terastalize, bullet punch, and just throw a Sacred Sword at Incineroar. We'll get some mileage, even if you swap Fluttermane. I'd rather you leave it in and get bullet punched, but I don't think you're gonna do that. Okay, that's fine. I guess I should have gone for Psychic Fangs. This Urshifu is Landorus. Oh no, that's okay. I don't mind seeing that. Landorus I'm cool with. Bullet Punch will probably do a decent amount too. Alright, Bullet Punch, the Sword of Ruin, does about a third, Sacred Sword minus one, does a little under half, and they just parting shot the Chen Pao. Okay. Chen Pao is now at minus two. I guess I'll try to leave, if you give me a reason, a, a, an ability to, I mean. It's like, yeah, I could go to Dragonite on a ground move, but if you just bring Fluttermane back in. It's Rillaboom. That makes sense. You want to throw a grass move. I get it. I think I can just remove your terrain with Ice Spinner, though. Go into Dragonite. It's pretty safe against both of those. And then... Do I care about getting rid of your terrain? Bringing in Ogre Pond could be pretty good, too. Yeah, I think I'll swap them both. Super passive play. But you might waste a turn with Fake Out anyway. Ogre Pond, the great friend. Oh, and they swap out Landorus. Into Incineroar. Aw, oh, Ogre Pond catches the Intimidate. Darn. That's just how speed order works. That's fine. Gives them another fake out turn as well, but Dragonite's immune. You can definitely get out some damage with Dragonite this turn. Oh, and it's just Woodhammer, wow. Okay. Landorus, Fluttermane, Incineroar, and Rillaboom. I could just throw out an Aerial Ace for now. I'll probably want to get not Outrage. I'll probably want to leave later. Metagross can handle the Flutter main. I could Outrage. That would lock me in, though. I don't want to be dead meat. So I think I'll just go for Aerial Ace on Rillaboom. I should just Spiky Shield. I would hate to get hit by a... Fake out Woodhammer double up. I think they're probably gonna swap something. No. Well, the, are you actually committing to the fake out Woodhammer play? Oh, you are. Interesting. I wonder if it's actually a U turn play and I don't get the aerial ace onto you. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a U turn into that. Wow. This was a great turn for me. You get hurt too. Did that Incineroar go below half? Because I didn't see a berry proc. And you're gone, Rillaboom. That just knocks you out? Oh, cool. I'll take that. Love to see that. Yeah, and Cinderor is below half, so it wasn't Citrus Berry. Cool. And you're just back into Fluttermane. Fine by me. 
I will go straight back into Metagross. And I will. You didn't Terra yet. So I want to Ivy Cudgel your Incineroar. Would you Terra your Incineroar here? Is that worth it for you? Go for it. If it's worth it, go for it. That's what I say. If it's worth it for you to Terra Incineroar, do it. Because Landorus can't come in for free there on an Ivy Cudgel. Flutterman, get off, get out the camera. Oh, no, they are gonna go to a Landorus here. Okay. Um, are you gonna Terra Fairy Specs Moonblast into my Ogre Pond? Oh, that is what you're doing. I get it. Yeah, Ogre Pond's not gonna take that. Yeah, it's not gonna take that very well. All right. Um, that doesn't put me in a terrible position, though. Oh, it's just Dazzling Gleam. I think we take that. I think so. Oh, very comfortably. And Landorus is gone. Yes. Awesome. Now the question is just how to position this bullet punch. Because here they'll go into a fake out. Fake out Dazzling Gleam. Definitely want to preserve Metagross. Don't really need Dragonite. If I'm being honest, it doesn't do anything. Oh no, it can extreme speed now. Now I'm gonna just go into Dragonite and Spiky Shield. Yeah, that'll put me in a fine position. There's a few ways to win this, but I think I can do it. Pretty sure I can win it. Spiky shield our Ogre Pond. They fake out into the Dragonite. Yep. They Dazzling Gleam. Knocking out Dragonite. Metagross comes in, we swap in Chen Pao, Sword of Ruin boosted Bullet Punch takes out Fluttermane, Ogre Pond cleans up the game. Yeah, I think that works. Um, worst case scenario, Fluttermane is like Sash, or lives, and both of these things go down. We would lose in that case. Yeah, there's no there's no way around that. We would lose if that happens. But Sword of Ruin boosted Bullet Punch is extremely hard to survive on a Fluttermane. They would have to be crazy bulky to take this. Crazy, crazy. Bullet Punch. Fluttermane. Ow! What was that? What kind of Fluttermane do you got? How, how do you? That is an extremely bulky Fluttermane, wow. I mean, we still got this, but wow. That's crazy. That is actually so much health, too. No wonder that Dazzling Gleam didn't do so much damage. Wow. Okay, they must be like 252 defense. Like, there's a few ways to do it, but... I guess it could have been a super low roll on a fairly bulky Flutter. I don't know. Ugh. I overcommitted to that, I guess. <laughs> but we got it. You know, Ivy Cudgel should seal up the deal. We no longer have Intimidates. Some sort of Ruin boost. Bye, Incineroar. Ooh, good game. 
gave me a challenge there. Alright, and we're back with the rental code. You made it. If you've been watching it this far, you probably liked it, so why don't you give me a like, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see me play more with this team and with some other teams. I promise this isn't the only team I play. In fact, if there's a team you want to see me play, shoot me a note in the comment, and I'll see if I can give it a shot. But anyway, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace!